Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wine. Welcome back to art class. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips with you to help create your hard edge painting. So the first thing that you will need is your hard edge painting design. Remember this is usually geometric shapes and it's usually a design that is very simple in nature. And then because we are using a water-based paint, you're also going to need some water and the material that we will be using today is tempera paint, but we're using tempera paint in a cake form. So it's a dry tempera paint. So always remember when you're painting, as a general rule, you should work with your lightest colors first, moving on to your darker colors. So today I'm going to demonstrate to you painting with, and for this project, you're choosing three colors plus white and black. So for example, if the three colors I have chosen are yellow, green, and blue, the first thing I would want to do is I would want to figure out which of those colors is the lightest in value. And out of yellow, green, and blue, the yellow is the lightest. And then you will notice I also have the rest of my painting materials. I have a paper towel or a napkin nearby and I have my paintbrush. Today I'm using a flat brush that is about, I think this is a fourth of an inch size brush, so it's not too big. So I always wanna start by cleaning my brush, stirring it in the water, checking it to make sure it's clean, because if it's not clean, if that comes out dirty on my napkin, then my paint would be dirty. And then the first thing I have to do is I have to really work this brush into the paint so it's not too watery. So I'm gonna move my painting aside for just a moment so that I can zoom in a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some water, put it in that paint, and I'm just gonna keep stirring my brush around until this sort of gets a nice thick consistency. I might find that I need to add another drip of water and I want to stir that around until I'm getting something that looks like a nice thick paint in here. And then once my paint is a nice consistency, I'm ready to start. Now the trick about a hard edge painting is I have to work really, really carefully to keep my edges clean and neat. So what that means is I'm gonna take my brush with the paint, <coughs> excuse me, and I like to hold the brush so that I can see exactly where the tip of the brush is going. So I can see this edge of my paintbrush and I'm literally just drawing a nice straight line, as straight and even as I can. As soon as I start to run out of paint, I come back over into my paint and I get a little more of that thick paint and then I keep going. Now when I get down here to the bottom, I have to be careful. I don't want that back end of my brush to hit my paper. So one thing to remember is your paper is not glued down, right? I could pick up my paper, I could turn it around, and I can do the same thing on this side. I can start over here, and I'm really watching slowly and carefully exactly where that edge of my paintbrush is going. If I'm trying to get into a really small area, I can get just a little bit of paint on the tip of that brush, get it into that corner, and I think I need to turn my paper around one more time, get a little more of the paint. If it starts to dry out a little bit, I just add another drip of water to it and work that paint. And then the same thing. 
I'm gonna put my brush exactly where I can see the edge and super, super slowly go around that edge. And again, I have to be really careful when I get into that corner, maybe I get a little paint off my brush. And now that flat edge brush should really allow me to get right into that corner. I'm gonna come over here to the last corner. The corners are the trickiest. And remember, if I accidentally paint over top of the line a little bit, it's okay because I started with my lighter colors so that I can go in later and get those edges. Now, as I'm painting, once I have one shape done, I wanna make sure that I keep my design balanced. So if I have a yellow shape at the bottom, I might need another yellow shape at the top somewhere. I don't want to paint yellow and then just move on to a different color. So now I'm going to do the same thing, getting that yellow paint, and I'm going to work along another edge. I go slowly and carefully so I can see where the edge of that brush is. When it runs out of paint, I can flip it over. There's probably a little bit of paint on the back side. Then I can go back, get another drip of water, get a little more paint. And always remember, if I'm trying to get to a different edge, I can turn my paper around. Keeping in mind that I am a lefty, so everything I'm showing you would still be the same if I were holding my paintbrush with my right hand, I would want to flip my paper around so that I can see that edge of the brush as I paint. But because I want my edges to be nice and neat and clean and even, you definitely don't want me to paint right-handed. I can come back, get a little more paint, really work carefully into those corners. And again, just keep turning my paper around, being careful not to stick my arm in the wet paint, get another drip of water, work it into the paint. And that's how you keep your edges nice and neat and clean and even. The nice thing about the big shapes is even though I have to go super, super slowly as I'm painting my edges, once I have the whole shape outlined, so I'm almost done down to my last edge, then it becomes really easy to fill it in. I'm just gonna get a little more paint and now filling that shape in is easy. I just get the paint and I fill in the whole shape. Once my page is balanced and, I, and I've used as much of the yellow as I want, then I can rinse my brush and I can move on to the next color. I hope seeing this painting up close helped you see how to keep your edges nice and clean for your hard edge painting. I can't wait to see what you do, and until next time, keep on creating.